Member Saanich North in the Islands. Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I want to acknowledge that this government has taken uh, more substantive steps than the last government was ever willing to take on housing affordability, and they should be recognized for this. How however, I'm working both sides of the aisle here. However, I'm hearing a serious lack of clarity about what the government is trying to achieve with the housing plan. My colleague from Oak Bay Gordon Head uh, tried yesterday to clear this up, but didn't get a straight answer, so I'm going to ask again. In the budget, the government spoke of stabilizing demand and, quote, bringing down the curve of housing costs. The finance minister spoke yesterday about, quote, moderating the market and slowing the escalation in housing prices. To me, these statements suggest that the government's goal could be just to see how uh, prices continue to rise from where they are just a little more slowly. My question is to the Finance Minister. Are you trying to slow the escalation, trying to reduce housing prices? What is this government trying to achieve on housing prices? Minister of Finance. Thank you very much, uh, Honourable Speaker, and thank you to the member uh, for the question. I'm very proud of the fact that after 16 years of ignoring the affordability crisis, our government is taking on the housing crisis to be able to address it. We all know, Honourable Speaker, that the reality is it's going to take time. You're not going to fix 16 years of neglect by this government uh, overnight. Um, British Columbians know that we're taking a balanced approach. Uh, we're looking closely at the measures that we're bringing in. We will monitor them um, to be able to make life more affordable. We are looking at the largest investment in both supply and demand, the largest action plan that has occurred in this province and across this country to address affordability for families. So we are looking at bringing in uh, fairer prices, fairer housing prices, and more affordability for families in British Columbia. Saanich North and the Islands on a supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'm, I, I'm still troubled by the lack of clarity we have um, on, what, on what we're trying to achieve. This is a fundamental question, and British Columbians deserve to know whether government is really serious about fixing the, price, the crisis. The longer we are told to wait uh, uh, by this government for action, the higher our expe expectations became, and in fact, uh, the more urgent uh, the need for action. The average house uh, price in Vancouver is $1.6 million. Simply slowing the escalation from this point does not help young families and young people afford to live in our province. Stakeholders and experts agree that we need to responsibly deflate this bubble and bring down prices in our hot housing market to ensure that British Columbians can afford to live here. We are in an emergency, and this government needs to be clear about its plan for getting us out of this mess. My question again is to the Minister of Finance. Is this government simply trying to slow the escalation, or are you actually trying to reduce prices? Minister of Finance. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honourable Speaker. And I would say to the member, do we want more affordable housing in every community across this province for families? Yes, we do. <laughs> do we have a comprehensive plan that is going to address supply and demand to make sure that people can live in the communities that they work and their children go to school in? Yes, we will. <laughs> going to take time, and I completely understand the frustration that families are feeling. I completely understand the frustration that individuals are feeling. When I've talked to seniors in my own community who are at the risk of homelessness because they can't find an affordable place to rent, they can't find an affordable place to live. When I talk to parents who are not worried about their children being able to buy a house, they're worried about their children being able to find an affordable place to rent that is decent for them and safe to live in. Those are the kinds of choices that families are making. Our 30-point plan is going to make a difference. It's going to take time, but we're acting now. We're not waiting, and I'm looking forward to making that difference for people in our province. 